Some info for us. Just before the game, I talked with the Colonials coach. He told me the number one thing that jumps out at them about this opponent in their athleticism. He said it may be fun to watch a team like this, but it is not a lot of fun to defend against. We'll see if his players feel the same way after this game. Thank you, Tracy. Outright, Harunga goes up. The bucket is good, and he'll have a chance for one more. Terrific work to absorb the contact, hang in the air, and hit the shot. Pretty, Vern. He can't come away with a three-point claw. Kenny hands it off. Lock. Crosses it up. The shot from beyond the arc was no good by Copeland. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Dishes to the right. Dressel throws it up. Parker gets the rebound. Arunda with the shot. Sinks the first. Grabs to make his first stand off the bench. And he's going to come away empty from the line. It's good. Nice offensive rebound. They're now up by four. 
breaks it up. It was hit by Curtis. They narrow the gap to two. Bold pass. Harunga takes the shot. Hits the jumper. They increase their lead to four. Unloads from 10 feet. It's off the mark by Grass. About 12 and a half minutes left in the half. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over anxious. Has it down low. He's either got a foul hard or don't foul at all. He can't just give up easy three-point plays. Tacked on the free throw for the three-point play. Lock inbounds the ball. Left wing. Lock. Zwicker grabs the rock. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Parker goes up. He gets hammered. And he'll head to the strike. down the first one. He's off on the second. Curtis, here's the spin move. Inbounds the ball. Right around 12 minutes left in the half. Dumps it off. Terrific pass. All in that in the shot by Zwicker. Why not? had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. The Bison coach just told the players on his bench we'd have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like you'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. Thanks, Tracy. Parker. From deep. Hopel swings it to the wing. Lock off the mark thanks to the tight V. They're still down far. Out left. Dishes it to the left block. Grab inside by Grass. The team really did his job there to make him change the shot. Luck takes it up. The two-handed jam. He's got two. Schiffner shoots it. Couldn't make it a double-digit lead on this by Kressel. They still have a seven-point lead. Team of 
going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. He sinks the substitution in the court. Smallwood checks in for the first time. Harunga inbounds the ball. Howard really knows how to put the ball in the basket. They have a great offensive mindset and can put points up in a hurry. Ward has it. Right wing. Oh, the big fellow with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Bounce pass. Right wing. It up right in the bottom of the bucket. But they're still behind by four. About nine and a half minutes left in the half. Unloads. The three-pointer is offline by Dressel. But they're still out in front by four. Dumps it down low. Larson dishes it to the left. Lock. Terrific move. Misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. them both. Aranga inbounds the ball. Right around nine minutes left in the half. Dishes. Left wing. Ward. To put an end to the run. Russell grabbed the rebound and flips it ahead. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He knew right where to be. Catches it inside. With the shot. The three was off target by Dressel. Still a two-point lead. Side. Parker throws it up, missed it from eight feet out, but they still lead by two. Right wing passes to the free throw line, pulls the trigger, snatched by Parker. This guy is a nose for the ball, no matter where he is on the court. Just an exceptional shot blocker. So that's 11 unanswered points. The Colonials will try to end this run. Dishes to the left. Ward has it. Right side. He can't be happy with that miss. With all the room he had, he's got to make that shot. Stolen by George Washington. Cable dumps it off. Out left. Parker. Gets it. Right wing. Parker from 20 feet out. Goes up. Stops it. 16 to 15. Smallwood inbounds the ball. Skip 
shoots it to the strike. Jennings dishes to the free throw line from long range. Too long, and it was missed by Curtis. About six and a half minutes left in the half. Great defense there. They didn't give him any room to get that shot up. Ward catches it, left wing. Fouled hard, and he'll take a trip to the line. Second to fall as well. Smallwood inbounds the ball. The student section is whooping it up now. How much fun are they having? Those fans are a special group there. They get way into it. It's stolen by Roy, and that'll be his second steal of the contest. Cable. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. That last point for the outline by Bill. They're now out in front by seven. Just like he shot a quick reader, but they need him back on the floor. basket came off the seat by Jennings. They're now behind by five. They've got their defense and it's in a minute. Left wing. Cable from downtown. Shipman. Yanks it down inside. Put up and in. Last player. That's not a finish to hoop turn. Take it up strong. From the high post. Canned by Luck. They narrow it to five. Right around five minutes left in the half. Passes it to the right side. Leads him in. Schiffman puts the hammer down. They bring their lead to seven. Smallwood inbounds the ball. Jenny. Dishes it to the left side. Larson catches it. Right wing. Bounce back. Out right. Lock. Gets it. Left wing. Good from downtown. Smallwood. He's got three. Cable brings it up the floor. Dressel feeds it to the top of the key. the reach-in call, and that's his first try. Both teams will make some substitutions. Substitution. Oh, they gotta watch their hands, Fern. The next foul puts them over the limit. Zwicker inbounds the ball. Down low. Goes to the crossover. Down the first one. He gets the second to fall as well. Stolen away. Dicey pass. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Left 
swing. Open, fires, misses the three-pointer. He'll make that one most of the time. But the D got a break on that one. Shoots. Couldn't make it a double-digit lead on the miss by Dressel. They've still got an eight-point lead. That last shot went by Jennings. Parker inbounds the ball. 2.56 left in the first half. This game plan is simple. Just get him the ball. He's your main guy. Lethal. He is so hard to defend. Last shot dropped in by Barker. He is so smooth taking it in. When a guy goes that hard to the hole, somebody's got to step in and stop him. Howard has been plagued by all the second chance points. And Tracy has something for us on that. The Bison coach told his team during the last break that they've got to be more aggressive on the defensive board to prevent second chance points. It obviously hasn't helped yet, though. Thanks, Tracy. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Pass. Left wing. Fearing. The last shot was gently in. That's too easy. The D's got to get on him before he gets the rim. Copeland passes to the wing. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Ripper picks it up. A little denial. Tremendous job to turn that shot away. Left wing. Cross court. Copeland has it on the corner. Dishes left side. Edwin shoots it. Misses the long run. Still a double digit game. Leads him in. Goes up. It's blocked. He just exploded off the floor to time that block. Wonderful anticipation by the defender. for the reach, and that will be his second foul of the game. Substitution. Both teams are making substitution on the court. Well, I don't agree with that call at all. Curtis inbounds the ball. Curtis hands it off. to the top of the key. Copeland catches it. Right wing. Larson. Sizing up his man. Gets it. Outright. Here gets the board inside. Ripper dishes it to the wing. Ward takes a three. Brett snatches the rebound. And they're down. Not the whistle. In section of third people. Hamilton situation. He makes the corner situation. Shifter didn't sit for long and he's coming back into the ball game. Gets them both. Fearing inbounds the ball. First half comes to an end with a score 34 to 26. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe you can do play by play and color. We'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Shifter is giving a standout performance as a scorer and as a rebounder, Mark. His work on the glass has been nothing short of outstanding. Is this young man a ferocious competitor or what? Tremendous.
this effort from our player of the half. Schiffman inbounds it to start the second half. To the elbow, bounces it to the baseline. Ricker. Passes it to the left. Schiffner takes it up. Hammer. And he will go to the line. Six percent for the game. Schiffner inbounds the ball. Ricker dishes it to the right side. To the middle. Lock. Swings it to the wing. Jenny catches it. Top of the key. Hands it off. Lock. Gets it. Face off. The light feeds it to the left wing. A dynamite bounce pass. The D never saw it coming. Saw it going, though. Right into the net. Side. Just over 13 minutes left in the second half. Lock. Dishes to the high post. Leads him with the pass. Jenny commits the foul. Almost a three point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. the second to fall as well. Harunga inbounds the ball. Feeds left wing. Ricker. Parker from deep. Pulls it in. Schiffner takes it up. Listen to this crowd go crazy, Bill. What fans we've got in here today. He's eighth to nine for the game. Has it. Right wing. Oh, no. But they're still down by six. Ricker, lead pass down low. Taking it in with a layup was a little foolhardy. Come strong or stay out of town. Copeland puts it up, reels it in. Jenny. To stop there. Thanks to the block by Hironga. What a stunt. He looked like a volleyball player spiking that thing. Right wing. Curtis. Swings it to the left wing. Lead pass to the paint. Stolen by George Washington. These people are loving it. You think it's getting loud in here or what? For three, the shot is knocked down by Dressel. 
He's one for seven from downtown. Locke inbounds the ball. Howard is really struggling. And it's scooped up by Dressel. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep. And then capitalize. Howard is shooting itself in the foot with all the turnovers. Tracy has something for us. The Bison coach looked downright disgusted after that last turnover led to yet another opposition bucket. He yelled three simple words at his guys on the floor. Protect the ball. All right, Tracy. Rickard passes to the left. Left wing. Double clutches. Lock pulls it down. Under 11 minutes left in the second half. I'm not sure why he decided to get fancy there. Very poor decision. Skips it to the right. Larson. Curtis backs in. Arunda wipes the board off the window. Dumps it to the inside. Schiffner has it right side. Barker releases from 16 feet. The last shot goes directly in. Lock inbounds the ball. Larson sends it up to the Colonials. will bring out some reserves. Skip pass. Left wing. Leads him with the pass. Last shot hit in by Polite. What a nice pass. When he got to the bucket, the ball was right there waiting for him. Perfect timing. Dressel. Ricker bounces it to the elbow. Left wing. Let's it go. Nailed for three point land by Parker. 5-12. The Bison with some difficulties. The spin move. Larson. Passes back to the right wing. Fearing inbounds the ball. Dressel uses the crossover. Put up and in on that last play. This fella is a fantastic offensive player, Burr. That kind of defense just isn't going to cut it against him. Smallwood has it. Top of the key. The right. Launches one from beyond the arc. Zwicker corrals the miss. Leads him in. That's what a coach wants from his defenders. Stay with your best shooter and don't give him any easy looks. Zwicker feeds it to the right wing. The D knows he can make that shot unchecked, and he did a good job staying with him on the play. Right block. Barker inbounds the ball. They're playing man-to-man -man here, Vern. Passes it to the top of the key. Turned away. Please throw a pump fake or something. Mix it up. This team's been all over every shot, and it doesn't look like they're going to let up anytime soon. Luck. Can't connect from the ring. Usually that shot drops every time. I'm not sure what went wrong there. Dishes to the top of the key. Parker from about 19 feet. About seven and a half minutes left in the second half. He couldn't have asked for a better look there. That is an unusual miss from him. Stolen by Zwicker. Nice little crossover. Oh, school run. Using the fingertips to let it drop in. The Bison with some difficult substitution. The Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Curtis inbounds the ball. Puts 
wraps it up. The lead is cut to single digits by Copeland. And they're now down by nine. Dressel. Schiffner feeds it to the left side. Side. Dressel from the baseline. Harunga yanks down the offensive rebound. Finished nicely down low on that last shot. Nice job to convert from in close. He didn't mess around right there. Just straight up. Just over six minutes left in the second half. Jenny releases. Trifecta. They cut the lead to eight. Dishes to the elbow. Backs in. Bounce pass to the elbow. Fearing. Pulls it in. Awanda raises up. Good pump fake, but the jumper doesn't fall. But they're still up by eight. It, right wing. Larson skips it inside. Rises and dishes. Jenny, it's in. He's got 12. Fearing inbounds the ball. The Colonials take their first time out of the game. Howard looks like they want to add some size to the lineup and will bring on a big man. Leads him in. Arunda, he grabs the rebound. The Bison are really struggling. He attacked it with everything he had, but it still wasn't enough. Good defense, not letting him jam it home. Bounces it to the wing. Schiffner. He fouls him. Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court. Smallwood inbounds the ball. Copeland brings it up. Jenny lets loose for three. On the money. Substitution. Both teams is making some changes on the floor. Right wing. Schiffner. Dumps it to the paint. Parker gets it outright. right. 
Rickard shoots it up, off the mark from the lane. They're still up by five. Lock. Lock. Jacks up a three. Gets it to fall. 16 points, and he's the top scorer for his team. Harunga inbounds the ball. George Washington calls time. They're ahead by two. 2.47 left in the game. Ripped away. The Bison. The score here will nod it up. I'd love to see that. He was looking around, then pounced. Such a deep burn. Baseline. Curtis backs him down. Ties it up. Curtis. And it's now all knotted up. George Washington calls timeout. The score tied at 57. 224 left in the game. Dishes it inside. Russell kicks it out to the wing. Parker makes the long distance connection. Well, let's get back to the action. Luck inbounds the ball. The phone line is going crazy. You know exactly where you are when you hear that sound. These fans are wild. Risky pass. Luka catches it outside. Feeds right wing. Gets it outright. Copeland from 18 feet away. It's off. And that's a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Ricker passes to the top of the key. Passes it back to the top of the key. Ricker. Parker gets it. Left wing. Ricker from D. Come on, Ricker. They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. Shipman fouls him. Count it. And the foul. Beautiful work to fight through that foul and get to the line for the three opportunity. Can't get the free throw, but they still hold an eight point lead. The shot. The run couldn't be stopped from the attempt by Hooklin. Parker tries the spin move. Snatched inside by Ricker. They will this one go tender. Out the shot. Luck inbounds the ball. The Bison bring it up. Sends it off. Lock with the shot. Knocks it down from the wing. One second differential between the shot clock and the game. The foul stops the clock, which is just what the doctor ordered. And that's why they did it. Time is not on their side. Very smart play. Copeland just picked up his third foul of the game. I can appreciate their willingness to keep that one burn, but I think it's too late to save the game. Fouling isn't going to do them any good anymore. Copeland gets whistled for a foul. And the bonus here, so that'll be a one and one of the line. I think it's a little too late for this burn. They're just prolonging the agony by fouling because this game's out of reach. Sinks the first one, and that will give them a nine-point lead. He gets the second to fall as well. Lock inbounds the ball. I don't think they can come back. It's too far to climb in too short a time. That is basket on the mark by Polite. The right. There's our pistol. They're in the penalty, so they're head of the line for a one and one. The no choice but the foul. They've got to stop the clock and get the ball back right away. Off target on the first. 25 seconds left in the game. Hopefully, beats it to the right wing. Baseline. Jenny. And no 
from 10 feet. He rips down the rebound. He fouls him. From the situation in the back. So they'll hit the line for a one and one. Gets them both. Lock inbound for ball. Oakland tosses it up. No dice from long range. The run guy hands it off. That's all for this one. The Colonial knock off Howard, 71 to 61. Now we'll bring you our player of the game. Let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Hi and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel and we're going to bring you our Pontiac Game Changing Performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball games. The George Washington Colonial used this shot to take off on a huge run. This game might have had a much different outcome if it wasn't for this sequence. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raffley. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.